Okay, so as a brief little introduction, what I've got here is a whole bunch of uh, sample-based drum machines, and I got them all hooked up together using MIDI to sync everything. And um, basically, what I want to see is is it actually worth it to run this many sample-based drums all together, um, or should I just kind of slim this down uh, to just maybe one or two machines? And so I've taken this out of the context of the rest of my studio because every time I work in there, um, as soon as I get like a simple beat going, I just start wanting to add synths to it. So I figure uh, I don't want to give myself that option here. Now, of course, I do have synths in the circuit. Uh, you know, there's two, two synth voices there, or six, uh, six voice synths there. And then also with the model samples, I can do wave cycle synthesis. Um, I might add like a synth layer as a baseline just to you know have a bit of a drum and bass thing but um mostly this is going to be just focused on rhythm and drums and let's see how that goes so what i've got here is um, a bunch of stuff loaded up a bunch of samples selected my general thought is the volca sample is going to do my low end uh kind of like kick drum uh type stuff and that's going to probably be mostly like four to the floor pretty um pretty well the idea being something kind of danceable or like techno-y right so that's my main kick drum there, and then I'll probably also layer it with some other stuff on here. So those aren't all purely kick drums, but uh, this is all supposed to be my kind of lower end stuff. Um, the track 10 here I have muted because right now the circuit, anytime I do something, it's sending a MIDI signal to play that track 10, um, which I'm just being lazy and I don't want to mess with the settings to turn that off. So I just have that muted. So I just got nine sample tracks here on the Volca sample. On the circuit, um, I've got four. I'm thinking the circuit's gonna be kind of in the middle. It's gonna add a little bit to the low end, a little bit to the high end. And that's kind of what I'm mostly gonna basically explore, whether I wanna do sample flipping or whatever. And then with the model samples, I really like using this for the high end, uh, kind of hi-hats and percussive elements. Um, so what I've got here is, um, I think I've got four hi-hats and then two percussive um, samples later down here. And I'm using the MPX-8 as the kind of nice drum pad MIDI controller for it. Okay, so um, I'm just using this to control this. I'm not actually taking any sound out of the MPX-8 because I think that is probably too much. So uh, yeah, let's just mess around and see where we get.
Thank <laughs> you. 